Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Last time we wrapped up the trial of who killed Nagito. And, well, unfortunately we found out that, uh, Chiaki is the traitor. And if we were to trust in her, as well as Nagito's luck, she's the one that threw the fire grenade that held Monokuma's special poison that ultimately killed Nagito. So today, the aftermath of the trial. Let's go. It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But, even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. So, they're just making us vote again, huh? Yep, all right, yep, it's her. Even so. <laughs> Damn you, game. <laughs> and at this point, I was like so torn because both her and Nagito were like my favorite characters. <laughs> and I lost them both in one fell swoop. <laughs> and then I didn't know if I hated Nagito or like still thought he was just amazing after this was all said and done. So yeah, it's a, uh, woo, this is, this is a rough one for me my first time through. Holy crap. Man, I'm pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the Future Foundation, and Nagito Kamaeda's killer is... Chiaki Nanami! Damn it. Are you serious? That was correct? The fact that Chiaki was a traitor, the fact that Nagito was crying depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true. Damn it. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, everyone. Damn it. Stupid. We're not celebrating at all. Damn it. Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? Yeah. That is... I, I cannot believe it, even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe, right? I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Cause? Cause... I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? If you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I'd never be able to betray the Future Foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? Now's not the time to be laughing. Well, but strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Uh. You're still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're just not going to answer, right? Like, if we ask you why you're in the Future Foundation and stuff... I'm sorry. That is... Even if you are a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki... You will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed, and Chiaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like uh, about that. Was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? 
If so, isn't it strange? Strange? I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> you raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagito's plan! I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor. And kill everyone else besides the traitor! C kill everyone else besides the traitor? That was Nagito's goal? Huh? Why would he do something like that? Of all the... The form of plan that only the traitor would survive. Is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Uh, okay. What? Well. I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chiaki. Chiaki, you really are a kind-hearted person. Hmm. Huh? You think so? <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and our big brother. Don't you think? Hey, hey don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. Now. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I can't then I, lose. I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even if I know it's a fight I cannot win, I, I must try to retaliate. Huh? huh? Retaliate. I will no longer let you do as you please. Oh no. This stupid stop! What are you doing? Is she doing it? As they say, we shall die together. Oh no. She's pulling a chow zoo. Dragon Ball Z reference. She she's self-destructed? Why'd you say? What is... What's going on? Huh? Monokuma, like, die. No, I'm not no. dead. <gasps> Whoa, a new one fucking came out! Phew, man, that surprised me. If I didn't have a spear, I would have died. Not yet. Lose. I'm not done yet. <laughs> hey, wait! If I don't beat you, <laughs> nobody can... Peace. Stop it, I say. I'm sorry. I lose. Forgive me. It keeps happening. Hey, hey. Not yet. S seriously, stop it. If you don't stop right now, it's all going to be destroyed. I won't uh, of course. You. I'm doing it so you'll all be destroyed. I will be the one to protect my students. I protect them with my life. Monami, you... Hey, hey. Now then, how many of you are still there? You might as well come out all at once. Ooh, um, how many? So Not that much. Just around 10 to the power of 60. Huh? What did you say? What? One... Million? Hmm. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, one million, one billion, one trillion, one quadrillion. Jump ahead, ten to the power of fifty-two, ten to fifty-six, and then ten to sixty. That's ten to the sixtieth power. After all this, you're still choking around. You sure have quite the daring spirit. Except I'm not joking. What are you even saying anymore? Don't you see that scene? Oh, didn't you see that scene? While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created. In the Monaco Manufacturing Facility. What? Those are just stuffed animals. That's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. You're just bluffing. Monami, finish them off. Hey, Even if it's just um, a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality. 
It becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. Magic, huh? <laughs> Could it be? Have you already obtained that much power? Uh, hold on, if you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to get confused. Unless you mean magic in a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. Hey, hey. What's going on? Don't tell me. They're not going to call this magic or something. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. In the end, even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong! I like how they just specifically say 10 to the power of 60. <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking. So how about this? This overwhelming despair! Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? And how many monomies are left to challenge my army of 10 to the power of 60? Uh... Uh... <laughs> you don't have to say anything. I know. Let's see. You just have ten more left, right? I know everything. I am the conqueror of the new world. I, can't I, I won't give up. Even if I have no chance of winning, I... It's okay, Monami. Hmm? Well... It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone. And leave the rest to them. But... Right? Damn it. Damn it, what the hell is going on? Um, I do not know for certain, but the only thing I can say is... Please listen. Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like, Does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is we're in a situation bad. because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organizations. Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. Because, 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 because the bunch of time's gonna start. Ugh. Hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. To wait or not to wait? That's the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. If you think about it, you know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But... I haven't. I'm sorry. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. N not that I. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Special bleeding service. Ah, for Monami too. Huh? Why even Monami? It's just a two-for-one special. I could have killed that thing any time I wanted since she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that would defy me anymore. Uh -huh. And also, I remember now. I'm an only child. Sorry. What, is what is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway. And not just that. <laughs> I decided to believe in everyone. You guys... I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time, let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Who knew freaking dangin' freaking Rampa could give you like the most uplifting like message ever? Holy shit. Love, love. Bye,
everyone. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Because... I know. Bye-bye! Please don't forget about your teacher! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Let's proceed with high spirits! It's the very last one! Mm, yeah, I'm, I got nothing to say for this one. I'm just gonna be silent and let you take it in. Oh yeah, and it's punishment time for you too, Monami. Well, you gotta get the other nine Monami's too. Please insert coin. I mean, it's amazing how that somehow manages to simultaneously be the most, like, sad execution, like, the saddest execution to me in the series up to this point, but also the best in the series up to this point. <laughs> like, wow, just, that was excellent, like, freaking excellent, despite the fact that, uh, that was not standard Tetris, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, some of those pieces, I, 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 I don't recall seeing some of those pieces in my own Tetris escapades, trust me, I know, I play quite a bit of Puyo Puyo Tetris, okay, thank you very much, but yeah, that was, oh boy, that, that, that was an execution, that was an execution, all right. Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees. A feeling of powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask what I needed to ask, before I could say what I needed to say, Chiaki vanished before my eyes. And I couldn't even tell her, thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted a little? As she was executed as the traitor, would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. Oh Good gracious, that was such a big surprise. As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagito too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer too. <laughs> oh well, don't you worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Wait, does this mean? Hmm. Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Hey. Are you serious? We can really leave this island? I shall yep. Congratulations. With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. 
For you five, who survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate. Thank you for all your hard work. Are... Are you really okay with that? Hmm? hmm? What do you mean? There's still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting things up so another killing happens right away. <laughs> You're right. Stop it, what are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Also, you said you five, like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left. Yeah. Are you planning to make a volleyball team? Super you need cool. six people for volleyball. Why you just gotta speak a kind while serious things are happening? Don't stay quiet, say something. What's your actual purpose? You're our enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Huh? No, well, no. you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey, and um... when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one go. And then, you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, huh? Hey. A new world? Don't go saying new shit all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just stay in the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. Yeah. While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Shoot. your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going. Forever. As for what he did, oh, as for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why I didn't look back on everything that happened up till now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen. And burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. And then the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything anyway? How far, how much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the Future Foundation, Hope's Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose? Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? And not just that, if we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope's Peak Academy? That was my last night at Jabberwock Island. At a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. Right. 
Just under nine more hours remain. I feel like I had a fun dream, somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right. It's the last day. According to Monokuma. Suddenly, my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear like I had been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonya. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything. Like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Screaming. I'm, I'm not about to scream. It's freaking 1 a.m. right now. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Ah, Hajime. Good timing. Good timing? What do you mean? See? Remember Naito's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, we were dealing with the bomb ruckus. What about it? Well, Apparently there was more to that message inside that laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so it passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Mm. Did he set it up so he wouldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagito planned to leave this as a will. Nagito's will? Where's it right now? Um. We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Got it. The restaurant. Alright, well. Let's go to the restaurant then. Let's go ahead and see what Nagito left us in his will. I hope he left me that hoodie, because that is a damn nice hoodie. Like, holy shit. Oh, hey, my pet. Let's go ahead. Hey, you hatched. All right, then. Man, I'm still going to try and get a shit of me, so... I'm just going to go ahead and leave you about your business. For now. Checking the lobby. Anybody down here? No. Well, no, everything looks the exact same as we left it before. All right, let's go upstairs. Well, there's the laptop. Yo. Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nagito really left another message? Kneel before Miss Sonya and thank her. She was the one who found it. <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. <laughs> a coincidence, you say? Wrong. That is the will of causality guiding you. Huh? Why would Miss Sonya be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. Damn right. So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. Um, I wonder who's watching, wonder this, who's message. watching this message. Is the Traitor from the Future Foundation? Or is it the Traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended it the way he hoped it would. Damn it. Naito was trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it, it was just as Monokuma said. Hey, so hey. he really set up the traitor as the killer? We even tried to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> Enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, How unfortunate. and unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then. Now then. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. 
First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. Special prize in Final Dead Room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... The Future Foundation's traitor must have known that truth all along. And so, I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolve to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> but, now that I know that truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all your hopes. But only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma is trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? Now then. But that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. The key to enter that place is that message you found at Nizumi Castle. Well, Normally you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an easter egg or something. It's probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monami. But that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I had to hide this until my plan came to an end. I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then, I'll announce the password. 11037. That is the password that was written in Izumi Castle. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but it's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I... I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And, if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. This was Nagito's final message. Um, that 11037 number that Nagito said was the password. There's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter that ancient ruin. Hey. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. You're right. Let's go. All right then. Well, hey, you know what? We we got a little extra, you know, stuff going on here. Let let's go. Now's not the time to relax. Need to hurry to the ancient ruin on the second island. All right. Well, they're just gonna send me there. All right then. Let's go. Ancient ruin, where you be at? This way. No, that's just, you know, the restaurant to go over to the, uh, whatchamacallit. And yeah, that's the trap house. I mean, the pharmacy. And that's the library. Yeah, the, you know, that was the uh, restaurant that was on the path to Chandler Beach. You know, couldn't go there. Just, yeah, you know, because we got a mission right now. Here we go, the ruins. S somehow, it is quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? Well, what's going to be in there? You are it's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? 
there is also that countdown. There's no time to stand around. Damn right. It's our last chance to get inside. I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, the kills. Uh, if I'm gonna let it out, why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? Hey, now's not the time to fuck around. It's going to be all right. You don't have to worry. I will protect my young master. Now then, let's go forward together. The hell? Don't treat me like a kid. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. Oink, 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 oink. What was that? I told her that you only understand piggy talk. I said, you're so cool in piggy talk. In the name I'm of my going family. to kill you. Hajime. Hajime, the password, please. Yeah, I know. One one zero three seven, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need to worry. The only thing beyond that point is the shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. They're doing this on their own. Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way... Huh? Um, where did everyone go? Hmm? Everyone? What? Something's wrong? What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... This world? Hey, you obtained a present, Gamer's Backpack. Let's check it out, shall we? Before we move on. Gamer's Backpack. Proof that you cleared Chapter 5 of Memento of Chiaki Nanami. Apparently it was a present from a certain gaming magazine. Was it Nintendo Power? Ah, uh, I'm just joking. Danganronpa wasn't on a Nintendo console. Yet. Well, to be fair, it kind of does have representation, because Monokuma appears as an enemy in Attack on Titan 2. Attack on Titan 2 was ported to the Switch, so, uh, yeah. Alright then. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play. Take a wrap it too. Goodbye, Despair. What? You, you thought something weird was about the end of this... 
chapter. Nah, it's just same old, same old, you know. 